What's up guys, welcome to episode 7 of Analyzing My Gameplay. This is a series where I talk about what's going on in the gameplay because no one really does that anymore and I still think people out there might enjoy that. If not, I'm sorry, but that's what I'm doing. Anyway, this is an execution on checkout and I'm uh, I, I really enjoying execution in this game and I think it's just because that's like... I don't know. I, to be honest, I don't really know why. I, I, I think I'm just missing the round base play of previous Gears titles. So I'm going to find myself here. What are you doing, man? Tries to pull the flank there, and he's going to get Lancer to right down. And uh, that's the one thing I don't like about Execution is uh, every time you shoot somebody who's down and they're too far away, that stupid thing pops up and tells you what Execution rules are. And for some of us uh, that have been playing Gears for you know four or five years, we don't need to be told. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to down that guy back there. Uh, on checkout... When I people I like to play with, we, we like to run a two-three where we send three to digger slash snipe and two to grenades every time. This game I was running uh, the nade side, and uh, that's that strategy seems to be working pretty well for us. I mean, you have to adjust depending on like if the other team runs like if they run like all five somewhere. Obviously, you're gonna have to adjust a little bit, but but uh, that these guys were not doing that as far as I could. I don't really remember exactly what happened in this game, but I know I played it recently, and I don't recall them doing that, but I guess it could happen. But anyway, we got this round pretty well. If this was a pretty tough game for us, if I recall. It was, uh, it was not a... I think I only go 4-2 and two in this game, but I kept it for a reason. Like I feel like the, the fight was pretty worth it. And right now we're just sitting there looking around for the last guy. And uh, this is one of the nice things about the mana rule. Even though it's going away soon, but that guy would have to come to us, and he's going to get slapped by a digger right there. And that's going to do it for round one. So we only have two more rounds to to go if we want to win this thing. I, you know, I'm even enjoying the uh, short, like, three-round games. Like, I know I've talked about it before, but there's something nice about it. Like, it makes each round mean a little more, you know? And right here, I'm going to be running over the nades again. I see them coming in there, and they just pushed right in and knocked us out. I should have probably just pushed in and grabbed them and tried to get out. Maybe uh, get a little backup for my teammate. Uh, but unfortunately, that did not happen, so now we have to play against the grenades. Adversity gets killed by a sawed-off. I think that was adversity. Uh, we're uh, we're spread out a little bit. We're, we're down on this round, 5-3, so we're just going to regroup back here by Digger. I'm going to go for the ink grenade here. Uh, ink grenade could stop a big push. And I'm gonna, I see my teammate goes down there. I thought the guy was on top of him. Threw the ink grenade to no avail. And I'm going to get cleaned up here by somebody. Yep. That's going to have... Uh, not that quite... Yeah, that's going to do it for the round right after that. Yep. So we lose that round. And we just... Uh, a lot of that was probably my fault. I didn't get in there and get the nades fast enough. I felt like I wouldn't have the backup that I needed to get that done. But, uh, you know, you can't... You know, I can do about it now. You know, gotta just play the next round, see what happens. You know, check out. This is a kind of map where if you make a mistake, it can really just kill an entire round because the team can just come in and get the, get the weapons they need. And they want four to grenades this time. And I gotta down the guy in needs, but... So you see, we have to. Uh, we're gonna have to make an adjustment to that next round. I believe we actually send three to nades next round. And what a nice incendiary kill right there! So right now we're four on. F <coughs> excuse me. Right now we're four on four. One of us went down by digger, but we're. Uh, or he's gonna get revived, and we're gonna get flanked out of nowhere on the podium. Right now I'm like frantically calling this guy out. He's on the podium. Help out. <laughs> that looks like there might be two of them. I get stuck on that wall. I hate that when you get stuck on the podium like that. I mean, that's that's something that's been in Gears since uh, since Gears 1. I was, you know, at this point, you'd think they'd have that sorted out by now, but I guess it's too hard. That uh, guy's going to get taken out by an A. This one's going to push me on uh, Digger here. And I'm just going to spray down my gun because it's like, get out of here. What are you doing? It's a 2v1 situation here. I'm uh, just hoping to get her down there. Uh, uh, you know, Looking back at it now, she, it's pretty obvious that there was no way <laughs> that uh, 
that player will be going down there, but when you're in the heat of the battle, you don't realize what's going on. It's like, oh, one more shot, one more shot. That's going to do it. I'm watching it now. It's like, eh, not really. And now uh, camping over there in pharmacy and going into the last stand spot in the pistol. You see a lot of people go in here. I mean, it's kind of a bad spot to try and clutch from because, like, it seems like they have to, like, come to you in this small area. But as you can see, you can just kind of get assault rifle angles around the corner. <laughs> so camping there with a sawed off to clutch an execution in Warzone is probably not your best move. And I'm going to get her down there, hit with that Lancer execution. Bam! I'm really loving the executions in this game. I have them all now, so every chance I get, I uh, I throw it out there. And in fact, everybody I play with now, when we play execution, we always try to finish the round with one of the weapon <laughs> executions just for the fun of it. I mean, like, you know, just having fatalities in a shooter game is just a little over the top and really, really fun. So you you, know, you can't help yourself sometimes. You know, that, that's part of being a Gears player. You got to enjoy all this gore that we get. And this round, I tried something different. I tried going up to the uh, Mulcher wall there to maybe cross the guy nades, and that didn't work out. And we're unfortunately going to get double naded there. And we just kind of got slapped that round. And uh, we're going to go to uh, the fifth and uh, final round here. Yeah, game seven, if you will, even though it's round five. But, you know, it's like a game seven. We got the baseball playoffs starting tonight. Go Yankees. That's CC up against Verlander. Got to win this game, I think. Because quite frankly, <laughs> we're gonna need to. W the Yankees are gonna need to win every game. Sabathia starts if they want to win the World Series. But anyway, pushing nades here. I got in. You know, we pushed him out a little bit there, and I was able to sneak in, and that was really important because once you once you get in, anyone who moves in on you, you're just gonna take out. And something. Well, I got a teammate on the mulcher there. What are you doing? Yeah, clean her up. Maybe I don't know. That looks like my teammate's gonna get her. She actually kind of snuck away. Oh, here comes a wild digger out of nowhere. If you could hit that shot, it's really cool, <laughs> but uh, most of the time, that's just a wasted shot. Now we're uh, we're two v one for the win here. We don't want to, yeah, you know, we don't want to do anything stupid here. We want to try and surround the last player and and take an intelligent approach. We don't want to go in one at a time when you're in a two on one scenario because if you lose, then it's a one v one, and then that guy, if he loses his one v one, you lost the round. There's no reason to take a one v one when you got two v one like right there. But I was able to answer it down. I know uh, Bacon's probably not too happy about getting killed by a sawed off there. But it's all good. We get the round. I'm going to punch the crap out of this guy. You know, kill my teammate with a sawed off? Hell no. Not up in here. <laughs> and that's going to wrap it up for the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, give a rating to whichever you feel it deserves, if you don't mind. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.